Hello, it's Sarah. I have a couple things I just wanted to share. I have a small haul. I went to Michael's and I got these. These are in their dollar bin section, like that little section by the checkout. Um, wood key rings by Art Minds, four pieces for a dollar. And there's a 20% off coupon this week. So they were like 79 cents. I got two rectangles. There's four in a pack. Two packs of circles, because I'm going to do mandalas on there, I think. We'll see. And I had to get a heart one, just because, and look, I don't need this stuff, but it was super cute. So I got that, and then I also found these Tombow um, colored pencil erasers. They're called sand erasers, and I've been seeing these on, um, oh, and it looks like this was taped closed. Eh, doesn't matter. Um on the wood burning channels and stuff for, for getting off graphite as well and in decorative painting you generally use graphite to apply your pattern um, to get your pattern onto the wood and I also would definitely recommend this is something that Chris Hoyt told me about and this is the it's probably very similar I don't think it's a sand eraser which I'm gonna open this it says cleanly removes colored pencil markings so you know that's just handy anyway see yeah, it's taped so let's see I'm just gonna cut it but this does look like it has like oops I don't know it's a little bit different um, I've been using these these high polymer by Pentel erasers and these work really well too but I've been hearing about these from the pyrography um, pages that I uh, sh that I look at on Facebook too. So I was so happy to see them. It says for ink. So it's, if it's for ink, I'm sure you're going to be able to get um, graphite off of wood anyway. So I got I picked up those, and like I said, this one I ordered on Amazon. I did not see this at. Let me think. Did I see this at Michaels? Um, I might have seen this one at Staples, but I did get this at, at on Amazon, and it comes with like a, a refill for more. Here it is. It comes with this. Like there's two more in here, these little, and it's by Tombow. Anyway, so that was a tip that Chris Hoy gave me, and it definitely works. I also picked up two more of these Princeton Lunar Blenders. This is a brush that was recommended to me by... Um, Lisa who is she's an artist and she's in the admins for the um, cre innovations in painting this is a cool dry brusher like I always used um, anyway just so you know I've got them in all sizes because I've been using them like crazy and these are at Michaels and so I think they're around five bucks a piece but I got them for 20% off so you know $4.79 but I have them in all sizes now, and I just bought two more because I saw them there. Um, I always used to use these, which are still some of my faves. These are the Debbie um, Cole blender, um, dry brush, brush blenders, and they really work well too. So I have I had those in every size as well, and they're not as easily available. So that's why I um, figured I'd load up on the lunar blenders. And now I want to show you what I've been doing with the Lunar Blenders. This is done. And I did it with um, a satin varnish so it's a little shiny. But I'm going to come in and show you some details. And I have to say, this is a Chris Hoy design. Let me see if I have the pattern here real quick. Um, I can't tell you. I did this, um, let's see, the end of last week and over the weekend. I was so happy the whole time. Everything I did on this just made me so happy. And I think it's because it was it was using a lot of techniques that I just haven't done in a long time. Because I've been painting really simple, you know, easy pieces that I, like quick and easy I've been painting. You know what I mean? So nothing too, too detailed. And Chris designed this, and I happened to see it again on Facebook. I want to tell you the name. It's called Haunted Mansion. That's all it's called. Haunted Mansion. I got it on her um, CD Wood. 
the, and it's it was eight fifty. It was this is the digital um, pattern packet. You get the tracing and all that. And I ordered the wood. I think it was a bundle. It was a bundle. So I got the wood and the packet. And I did substitute some colors, but all in all, I am so pleased with it. Every like I say, every single thing. So I did the first the mansion itself. You base coat it, but then you do these cool techniques, and I might have even mentioned it in my last, but it, I took my um, palette knife, and you load it in the paint, and then you, like, kind of scrape it across the wood, and it gave it, like, I want to see if I can see that. Yes, you can still see it. OMG. And it just looks like, I'll go in real close and try to show you. So, like, this piece here. There's just paint. See that little purple right there? I swear to you, it was the funnest thing. So you just put that all over. All right, I'm just going to start in this corner. And then you put little bricks on the background so that these two towers have these little bricks on them. Look at the freaking ghost. There's little vines here. The tombstone and then the back panel has all the people peeping out the windows look at my witch and this is all just floated like it's not even base coated I mean she's a little dark but I think she turned out pretty good the cat a little jack-o-lantern with a curtain in the window then there's just these little eyeballs there's little eyeballs coming out of like the the little holes in the roof look at the bats they're so cute. Another ghost. Two more ghosts. And like, he, I could have painted him over a tiny bit so he was really peeping out the window, but you can see his other eye. He's peeping. The lantern. The spider. Look at the, go look at the pumpkins. So cute. Honestly, everything. So like when I would sit down, I'd be like, all right, I'm doing the pumpkins now. And then as I'm doing it, they just got cuter and cuter. Everything. Look at this guy. My husband thinks this looks like um, Dean Martin. You youngsters won't know who that is, but that's the, the skeleton of Dean Martin. Just chilling on the roof. And I, I realized after I should have put like a shadow right here to kind of make it look like the roof was bent, but I didn't. I forgot my little shadow. Even the fence. But the bats are so cute. Look at their little eyeballs. And then this guy, he's like, hey, what's going on? Oh, there. I'll get the glare off. It is the cutest thing I've ever painted. I swear to you, everything. Honestly, like, I don't know why it made me so happy. But it did. And I really didn't take any license on this one. I kind of stuck true to the pattern and did exactly what it says. Because that's, I mean, I tend to do what I want sometimes, but I couldn't, everything was so fun. I'm like, no, I'm going to do what Chris told me to do because it was so fun. Oh, my God. And like I said, I had to substitute a few colors. So, I mean, like his cheeks are probably the wrong color. Some of the colors, you know what, guys? The shelves are empty. Look at this spider web. They're empty of paint. Like, you cannot get um, paint. And a lot of the artists, like this little, um, see, here's an, I've been going crazy with Halloween. I have one other thing to show you. So this guy, too, this was, um, I want to say this is a fairly new design as well. I don't know when they were created. So they use, they tend to be using newer colors. Like, I looked for... These, a lot of the artists are using these Extreme Sheens metallic paints. And I have tons of metallic paints that aren't the Extreme Sheen. So I'm making do because if it's metallic, it just means it has like, so I didn't have the color for the hat. But you can see the star. See how like it's flat, but then when you turn it, the metallic pops. So anyway, um, what else? The Glamour Dust. Things like that, they're using a lot of, um, so I had starlight varnish. Like, I don't have the glamour dust. So, you just make do and use what you have. But the shelves, I don't know why the pandemic, I guess the uh, factories are closed or something. All right, so here's another pattern I did. I did this this weekend. I'm just getting the pattern. This is a, I've had it forever, and I finally just ordered it from Bear With Us, Inc. Painting with, oh, let's see. 
Pumpkin Bob and Bat Katie. So I ordered the wood, it came in, and I sat back here till I was done. Here's the little bat. It's a candlestick, um, a wooden ball, like it has a flat bottom, so it's probably like a knob or something. This, it's like a bowl. This was this and this are separate pieces, so this kind of is shaped like a bowl, like it was flat on the bottom. But then you glue these together to make the hat. These little candy corn shapes are just glued on the hat for the cat's ears. And then the wings are two pieces of spider web that I glued together. And then this was the hardest part was the gluing it on because all it is is like really glued here and then I cut the bottom to make it sit right here because it actually came down a little bit and I thought well this is going to be a better place for it to sit and then I wired it on there like I took a piece of wire and I just kind of held it you know and I'm telling you this is the glue I used weld bond it's what I've used for my mosaics my mixed media mosaics all my mosaics actually when I did with glass too it's a white glue and it was recommended to me it says wood tile glass styrofoam paper. like it was recommended to me from at the um, mosaic store the stained glass store um, so I've been using that ever since and I it's yeah it took a minute like I had to sit there and hold the ears for a minute but then once it sets up like it is on everything is glued so anyway it just made but see the head it's dry brushed and I mean it looks a little rough it looks a little splotchy as I'm looking at it now but like at a distance it's fine all this is dry brushed and floated the the wings are dry brushed and then I put the sparkly glitter on this little bat is little bow tie they're all glittered glittered and then I'll show you the pumpkin they're heavy too like they're very top heavy because those are actually solid wood and he's tall he's like around look look how tall he is one two three four five 10, 11, 12 inches, so, but look how cute, I love him, and this is a frog bat, and he has glittery wings, and this is Deb Antonick, Antonick, I don't know how, really how to say her name, again, this is only glued, like, right here, and right there, and it is solid, you guys, like, it is on there, and then this is glued together, so, and then I just glued everything. This is like glittered. And I put the stripe on his hat. He didn't have a stripe. But it was just so fun. The colors, you know, and like I said, I am, I am substituting. So I think my purple was a little dark compared to the picture. Like, and the wings are a little different. Like, see how these wings, maybe they were shorter and maybe they fit better at the time of the, when she painted this. Let's see if there's a date. 2016. Um, it says Bob was originally published in pixelated palette in October so she probably did that separately and then she added him later or something but um, I just did it with whatever colors I had so yeah the bottom it's just a little darker than hers like hers is and I could have changed it but I I just liked it I like the purple so the little um, anyway I have enjoyed this Halloween, I have not painted this many Halloween things ever. I have, well maybe, I have a couple things in the basement that I want to bring up. But I have my um, my mantle in my craft room is like kind of all Halloweened out with all my Halloween stuff. Um, and I just wanted to share. So I don't know what I'm going to do today. I'm kind of I'm thinking I need to do a mandala, a Christmas mandala. So I have, because I have a few um, ideas, so who knows. I also wanted to do that Tracy Moreau Love Potion. So I have a few ideas I want to do. All right, you got, this is so cute. I'll try, I'll put in the uh, description box the link. And yeah, it's, I wouldn't say it's a beginner piece, but you know, you're not, you're never going to learn unless you try. That's all. It was, it was so fun. Oh my God. All right, you guys, that's it.
Um, thanks for watching.